Good morning, and welcome to St. Mother Theodore Guerin Parish. Today we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Easter. As we come together as one in the Lord, let us turn to our neighbor and say hello. Our gathering song can be found in your Journey Songbook, number 761, Table of Plenty. Again, it's in your Journey Songbook, number 761. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You have come to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have come to save sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Sins of the world have mercy on us. 
you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest and on earth peace to people of Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed elders for them in each church and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response this morning is, I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Your name forever, my King. 
A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain. For the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. When Judas had left them, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and God will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment. 
love one another. As I have loved you, so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, as we come today to the fifth Sunday of Easter, Jesus is inviting us to love one another as he has loved us. And so as we reflect upon this message of Jesus, we come to this qualifying phrase, love one another as I have loved you. And so when we think of the word love, we can think on many things that we do love. We can say that we love our family, our friends, we love perhaps a deep dish slice of pizza or a nice big scoop of ice cream in hot sunny days, right? But the kind of love that God is speaking about goes beyond just what we're probably more used to thinking. The type of love that Jesus speaks to us today is not so much a feeling or an emotion, it is a choice. A choice to love someone even though it might be hard to do so. When we think of our brothers and sisters, there can be times when it's hard to love them. And this is why Jesus wants us to love, us to love as he loved us. Because for us, it's easy to love when things are going good. When we're not fighting, when we're not arguing, when there is no trouble between brother and sister, but when there is trouble, when there's arguments, when there is no sharing, when there is yelling, and all of these different things that happen in a normal relationship between our brothers and sisters, it can be hard to love. And so God, who knows that it is even harder than to love, strangers and people who aren't immediately friends or family, Jesus is inviting us to love as he loved us. Because if we love only when it is convenient, if we only choose to accept people when I want to accept them, then we are not loving as Jesus loved us. We are loving as I want to love. When it's good for me, when it's convenient, to love those that make it easy. But that is not what Jesus is saying. He's saying that we must try to love even those that make it hard for us to love. The people that perhaps have hurt us with words or action, the people who are mean, the people who we see doing bad things in the world, in our family and friends. These are the kinds of people that we need to love as God loved me. Because see, God sees in me that I too am imperfect. I too make mistakes. And yet God still loves me. And so if he loves me who makes mistakes, then he is also loving and desiring those who make bigger mistakes. And I cannot be the one that says, God, can you really love that terrible person? Can you really love them? Because he does. And that is the beautiful thing about God's love, is that it is beyond our understanding. Our feelings, our emotions, our logic will tell us, don't love that person, don't be nice to them if they're not nice to you. If they're mean to you, be mean to them. If they don't share with you, don't share with them. And yet Jesus is saying, no, if they are mean, do not pay back meanness with meanness. 
pay back with kindness. Because I have loved you when you were not so nice, when you were not so kind, I loved you. And I forgive you. And so you must forgive others as well. And so when we see and hear this word from Jesus, that others will know that we are disciples of God and Jesus by how we love. Let us think of that choice. Because love is not just a feeling, an emotion. It is a choice to look beyond a person's imperfections and still want to help them, pray for them, be kind, generous, and merciful. So we ask Jesus to help us be disciples in name and in action. So if today you think in your heart of someone who is hard to love, a little brother, a little sister, an older brother, an older sister, mom and dad, a cousin, a friend from school, pray for them today. Ask God to help you love them so that we can change the world and we can change one another through our example of Christ who lives in us. So as we prepare today to celebrate Jesus and Mary and this beautiful, beautiful day that they have given us, let us ask God to help us be authentic and true disciples by the love we have for one another. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. We gather our prayers, our desires, and our hope to grow in discipleship of Jesus as we present to him today all of our prayers and petitions. For Pope Francis and all who lead the church, that they may always act with love, compassion, and care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel neglected or unlovable, that they may experience the everlasting love of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have experienced abuse or trauma, that they may receive mean healing, care, and be welcomed into supporting and loving communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that we may love with open hearts like Christ intended. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in, <clears throat> in our parish bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, 
Caroline Russo, Howard Richard Belden, Rory Zale. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is offered. Frank Pudlow, Roman and Anna Romaniak, Giovanni Insalia, Kathy Grob Armstrong, Marlene Parello, Brian Connealy, Warren Robel, Raul Asolto, for fast recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, receive all of our prayers offered with hope and thanksgiving, that together we may always walk in newness of life and to seek always the good in others as we ask everything through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Today we have a second collection for our campaign for the capital improvement of our parish. Please join us in a singing our uh, presentation hymn, which can be found in your journey songbook, number 767, Let Us Go to the Altar. Again, that's in your journey songbook, number 767.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise Supich, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And now let us show some sign of peace to one another. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
For those participating in today's liturgy via live stream, please bow your heads as I read the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please join us in our communion hymn, again, which can be found in your journey songbook, number 627, Rain Down. Again, that's in your journey songbook, number 627.
Let us pray. <laughs> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. There will be a summer Bible youth camp beginning June 19th here at St. Celestine's. See the bulletin for more information. The Respect Life Committee is raffling a quilt after Mass this weekend. Tickets are available in the back of church. Thank you for your support. And finally, our May crowning and ice cream social will be taking place right now after Mass. We will have a short procession outside, so please stay and join us. Thank you. And so, uh, for the procession of the May crowning, uh, we will process uh, in the first. Okay. Mass procession. The May crowning court will process in before the altar service, carrying flowers, and they will be sitting on the first pew. Okay, very good. So. For the procession after Mass, first will be the cross-bearer and myself and the deacon, then the blessed statue of our Blessed Mother Mary carried by the scouts, then the May crowning court, the young ladies, the first communicants, all those who received their first communion this past uh, weekend, and then all others who wish to join us, all adults and all those who are here with us who wish to join us, we will be going out uh, on the Wellington side of the parish. So we will go on Wellington and we will be walking one block on 76 Court to George Street, okay? Once we get to George Street, we will turn right and head towards 77th. And then at 77th, we will turn again right and walk back down 77th towards the school end where we will uh, be crowning Mary. Ruth Ann and another person will be on the corner of Wellington and 77th Avenue and will distribute carnations to the first communicants. 
And so the, the main crowding prayer service will take place in front of the school by the Creed Center. So uh, for the moment being, if you can stay in your seats, and I will be calling group by group so that we can order ourselves for the procession, that would be greatly appreciated. So just again, the cross bearer and the priest, uh, the deacon, the Blessed Mother statue, the crowning, uh, May crowning court, and then the first communicants, and then afterwards, um, all everyone else, okay? So thank you so much. Let us now do our final prayer and blessing. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Now let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Please join us in our closing hymn again. It's found in your journey songbook, number 595, Sing a Joyful Song. Again, in your journey songbook, number 595.